Thoroughbred Action is presented by Hardacre Farm. Welcome to Thoroughbred Action from Gulfstream Park, Acacia Courtney uh, here on this beautiful Friday afternoon. Things have cleared up that we did have a little bit of rain early on in the day. It's Twilight Friday with nine races on the card. Let's check out the track and weather conditions. It's a rainy day here in South Florida with temperatures in the low 80s. We had some more rain last night and on into the morning hours. We're off the turf here today. First race of the afternoon over the main track at seven furlongs. Maiden Claimers in for a price tag of $10,000. Scratch number three, Planet Rock, six to the gate. Favorites were four, Bourbon Honey, and five, Picky Picky Girl. Racing at Coldstream. From the outside, still beautiful, gets the first call. Here's Picky Picky Girl and Bourbon Honey both getting acquainted, and Bourbon Honey will take a narrow lead over Picky Picky Girl as they run out of the chute. Still beautiful is away racing in third for Jairo Hernandez in front of Asian Moon Lady, then New York Gem from down toward the inside, and Selfie Day is last of all as Bourbon Honey leads the way. Bourbon Honey, three parts of length in front of Picky Picky Girl. They've readily opened four on Still Beautiful, who's third, behind a 23 and one opening quarter. From fourth and Asian Moon Lady, fifth is New York Gem, and Selfie Day is last of the lot with half a mile to go. Up front, Bourbon Honey takes no prisoners, moves into the far turn, leading two now on Picky Picky Girl second. Five to Still Beautiful third at the inside. Asian Moon Lady has moved up to be fourth. Then back at the inside comes New York Gem, and outside of her and trailing is Selfie Day with five sixteenths to go. Bourbon Honey leads it by a length and a quarter. Picky Picky Girl now set down driving, trying to gain some ground second. It's a gap of three to the rail and Asian Moon Lady. Outside fourth and Still Beautiful. The rest are not of consequence sequence through a 46 and three opening half mile and bourbon honey strutting her stuff bourbon honey off the top of the turn on a four length lead now asian moon lady taking up the slack second inside that final furlong bourbon honey by two and a half asian moon lady begins to gain a bit of ground asian moon lady trying to track down bourbon honey with a 16th to go bourbon honey still clear asian moon lady up into second bourbon honey all the way asian moon lady second picky picky girl third then still beautiful and selfie day in the first at Gulfstream. Number four, Bourbon Honey takes a step forward off her nice performance last time out, and she goes all the way in the opening contest under Nikki Figueroa for trainer Fernando Abreu and our Sugar Bear Stable. It was number seven, Asian Moon Lady, who rallied well to get second ahead of the five Picky Picky Girl. She added up third after chasing the winner. To the second race now, off the turf, main track by Furlongs, maidens of the special weight variety. These are two-year-old fillies. Rider change on one, Duchess Abby to Abby Medina. Rider change on four, Elegante to Raul Mena. The favorite was the five, crazy for so and they're off. Awkward getaway for Bella Black, who's three lengths last. From the outside, erotic kiss blasts out to take the lead. Crazy for Sophia tries to stay in touch from second. Away in third is Elegante. Little Bridge is out of there fourth, racing two ahead of Duchess Abbey, ahead in front of Galileo's affair. And Bella Black tries to play catch up at the back as erotic kiss struts her stuff. Erotic kiss leads it two and a half. Crazy for Sophia tacking on second for Zayas. A four length margin to Elegante, who's now third. She's put four lengths on Little Bridge, who's fourth and trying to gain ground while better than eight lengths off the lead. Then back at the outside, to Galileo's affair getting around Duchess Abbey and Bella Black has been last throughout with a quarter of a mile left to go. Crazy for Sophia blows by Erotic Kiss and leads now a length and a half. From the outside, Little Bridge starts to finish with interest and so does Elegante with an eighth of a mile left. Up front, Crazy for Sophia still has work to do as Little Bridge is charging hard. Little Bridge at Crazy for Sophia. Crazy for Sophia pleading for the wire. Little Bridge has got her. Little Bridge in time. Second, Crazy for Sophia flying home with Galileo's affair to get third ahead of Elegante, then Erotic Kiss in a minute and one. Number three, Little Bridge made up a good eight lengths in the final five sixteenths of the contest, getting up to win narrowly under jockey Miguel Vasquez, making a fairly impressive debut was the daughter of Rattlesnake Bridge, for owners Nick Vaccarezza, Joe Mbezi, and J&J &J Stable, winning trainer Carlo. Baccarezza. Five crazy for Sophia, second ahead of the two Galileo's affair. She's one for the list as she rolled home for third and galloped out very well. When we come back, we'll continue with the Friday card. Don't go away. We have to take care of these horses that you know give us so much joy. Being accredited by the TAA gives us instant credibility. People trust us even more than they have before because they know that the TAA has been to all of our locations and that our horses are well cared for. I mean, this farm wouldn't look the way it is, these horses wouldn't look the way they are if it wasn't for the generosity and the hard work of the Thoroughbred Aftercare Alliance. They've united our whole industry in terms of the aftercare movement. We're all working together for the same purpose. 
Back now for race number three on the program. Five and a half furlongs over the main track. Starter allowance optional claiming event. Price tag here is $25,000. Field of six. Betting favorite number three, tip sheet. And they're off. Level beginning. Looking for a leader, they're lining up for the front. Easter Vigil, Coal Miner's Son, Wizard Willie all sent along. Tip Sheet will back off up on his outside is Little Doubt. And Saturato was last of all as Sebastian Saez is riding Wizard Willie for the top. Wizard Willie leads by a half a length over Easter Vigil in second. Coal Miner's Son is third. And then on the outside, the Little Doubt, who's racing in fourth ahead of Tip Sheet. He's now fifth. Two and a half to Saturato, who's been last throughout through a 22 and two opening quarter. Five sixteenths to go. Easter Vigil bids up to take over from Wizard Willie in second. It's four lengths back to Coal Miner's Son. Third, fourth is Little Doubt. Armio riding tip sheet, but putting him into the clear for an opportunity. And Saturato has not taken part as they run to the top of the stretch. There's a quarter of a mile left to go. We still have a variety of chances here. With the lead now on the inside, an Easter Vigil by two. Coal Miner's Son set down driving, trying to get to him second. Then on the outside, Little Doubt. And from behind the speed, tip sheet. Final furlong, Coal Miner's Son and Lionel Reyes roused to a short lead. Easter Vigil is back to second, that's where he'll finish. Coal Miner's son will win it. Easter Vigil second, tip sheet third, Little Doubt fourth, and then Wizard Willie in 105 and three. Number one, Coal Miner's son took advantage of a scratch late in Maiden Field when he broke his debut around last time out. But he takes a big step forward here today and springs a 10 to one upset, improving nicely under Lionel Reyes from Monty Thomas and owner Pedro Ramacan. Four, Easter Vigil second, ahead of the three tip sheet, who ran third. To the fourth race now on the start of the Rainbow Six, five and a half furlong to the journey. Maiden claimers in for five, price tag of $50,000. Field of nine went to the gate. The favorites included the one, Spartacle, and number three, Mucho Prospect. And they're off. Level beginning. Searching for a leader, it's out wide. Powerful Venezuelan Salambo both away well. Spartacle moving at the rail. In between horses, Ed's dog shuffled back a bit and now racing in fifth is controlled Fury. Katana moves up and by him. It's a stretch of two and a half to Crest of Eden ahead of Majestic Destiny and at the back, Mucho Prospect. Around the far turn they go and up on the outside, Carlos Olivero and Salambo step to the lead three parts of a length. Spartacle works into the clear and is on the attack second. Back to third inside is Powerful Venezuela. Then it's a stretch of two to Ed's dog, he's fourth. Gap of another five lengths in retreat mode is Catano. Then to the outside and coming on is Controlled Fury as they run to the top of the stretch. Quarter of a mile left to go. On the outside, it's Spartacle to put ahead in front. Salambo battles on second and proud Vene powerful Venezuela is not done. Swung to the center by Jaramillo with an eighth of a mile to go. It's Spartacle who takes the lead. Powerful Venezuela on the rebid on the outside. Powerful Venezuela at Spartacle. Powerful Venezuela is powerful indeed. Shifting ground but he's on to the front. Powerful Venezuela will win it. Second, Spartacle, third. Salambo, fourth, controlled Fury ahead of Mucho Prospect. Then Crest of Eden in 105 and 2. Number seven, Powerful Venezuela was a very impressive winner here this afternoon. He didn't like being inside. You notice the jockey of Misael Jaramillo backed him off and moved him to the outside, and he re rallied for the score. Giving Gilberto Zerpa another South Florida victory. This one for Orleana Farm. And again, Misael Jaramillo on board for the heads up ride. To the fifth race now on the start of today's Leap Pick 5, race number 5 at 6 furlongs. Maiden claimers in for a price tag of $20,000. A field of 9 signed on. The odds on favorite was number 7, Mo Bourbon. And they're off. From the outside, that's the favorite, Mo Bourbon, who bounces away to take the lead from No Dinero, who comes away to race in second, and No Dinero's going right after Mo Bourbon. These two have opened two on Mr. Joshua, who's away in third. Up on the outside, that's Golani, who's now fourth, working two ahead of Bold Miner, who's racing in fifth. Then back to Daddy's Teller and stay again at the back of the field, Cincinnati and Elite Kid. The race to the half mile pole, Gary Bain aboard No Dinero, giving the leader no quarter as Mo Bourbon works hard for the top. They won an opening quarter in a sharp 22 and one. Mr. Joshua looks to reap the benefits of this early duel, and here he comes. Monterey Jr. Put in, puts him into the clear, and Mr. Joshua's on the attack now. Five sixteenths to go, and Mr. Joshua un unleashing his rally to take the lead over Mo Bourbon, who's right there second. No Dinero is backpedaled in third. The rest are of no consequence after a 45 and two half mile. Mr. Joshua strictly the one to beat. Mr. Joshua turns for home on a two-length lead. Mo Bourbon boxing on Gamely second. Six ahead of No Dinero in third. Final 
furlong. Mr. Joshua with the lead. Mo Bourbon, dead game. He's back on even terms now. It's the 16th pole. Mo Bourbon, Mr. Joshua, Mr. Joshua, Mo Bourbon. We know De Niro late. Here's the wire photo finish. Boy, that's close. Mr. Joshua and Mo Bourbon hit the line together. Then no De Niro, and from nowhere, Elite Kid in 112 and 1. Well, if you back number seven, Mo Bourbon, at no point in the contest could you have thought you were sitting pretty as he had a hard and well earned win here in today's fifth race, winning a very close photo after number five, Mr. Joshua, appeared to blow him away off the turn. Mo Bourbon back for more. Jose Bautista earned his money for Elizabeth Dobles, an imaginary stable. Five, Mr. Joshua should win easy next time out. He was second, ahead of the two, no De Niro, who ran third. Early pick four, $480.20. And that early pick five, $806.70 on a 50 cent return. Time for a timeout. When we come back, we'll bring you the late pick four. Don't go away. A passion for horses and a commitment to breed champions is the foundation of Hardacre Farm. Founded in 1999 by Amy Tarrant, owner, breeder, and trainer, Hardacre Farm, now based in Ocala, continues its tradition of success. From the Breeders' Cup to Gulfstream Park, Hardacre Farm, from the breeding shed to the racetrack, in pursuit of producing the best. Back now for race number six on the card, off the turf, main track at five furlongs, $10,000 claimers. It's set to do battle here, scratch the three, eight, and nine, a field of six, the betting favorite on the strength of his dirt form, number seven, Bill's Passion. And they're off. All six away in perfect order. From between horses, that Stableford is reaching out to take the yearly lead, moving out the rail and up to challenge. Fifth Avenue Flash, Bill's Passion, taking a while to find his feet, but he's now moving up and he's all the way up into second, and Bill's Passion and Jaramillo go after Stableford as they round the far turn. Back on the outside, all about Yasim from between horses, that's Pioneer Pete, and Bone Town Wild is last of all as they run with the 5 16th to travel. The opening quarter was 22 and 1, and on the outside, Bill's Passion puts a neck in front. Stableford hanging with him second. Here's the run from all about Awesome third and tacking on. From between horses and fourth is Pioneer Pete, then back at the inside to Fifth Avenue Flash as they straighten for the drive, and Stableford has something in the tank here. And Stableford rebreaks to lead by two. All about Yasim on the outside. Bone Town Wild from last. Fifth Avenue Flash rolls at the rail. Final 16th. Stableford has the lead. Fifth Avenue Flash charging hard on the inside. Fifth Avenue Flash at Stableford. Stableford hanging on. Fifth Avenue Flash was second. Third was all about Yasim. Fourth, Bill's Passion. Racing ahead of Bone Town Wild. And at the back was Pioneer Pete in 58 and 2. Well, speaking candidly, number seven, Bill's Passion just didn't fire his best shot, not even a little bit. Number two, Stableford secured inside position and the lead around the far turn. He cut the corner and held on for the score under Luca Panici for Hot Scott Racing and Angel Rodriguez. To the seventh race now on the main track at five and a half furlongs. Maiden claimers in for a price tag of 12,500. A field of eight. Favorites included the three, Rogue Patriot, and the seventh, ABG Danny. And they're off. From the center, Mr. GT blasts out to clear the field and leads a length and a half early on from ABG Guerrero, who comes away second. ABG Danny on the outside. Down at the rail, that's Calypso Deep working ahead of Strabane, who's two and a half in front of AP Glory, second last, and Moon Lover is last of all as they pass the half mile pole. It's long shot Mr. GT and Nikki Figueroa calling the shots with a length to work with. ABG Danny and ABG Guerrero, second and third, punching between horses. Here's Rogue Patriot moving up now. Rogue Patriot in the red colors. Just took over second. These top flight horses have opened six lengths now on Calypso Deep and on the inside AP Glory at the back Strabane and Moon Lover. There's a quarter of a mile left to go. Mr. GT confronted now by Rogue Patriot on the outside and Rogue Patriot traveling the better of the two at this point and Rogue Patriot puts ahead in front. Mr. GT fighting on second at the eighth pole, six ahead of ABG Danny. Final furlong, Rogue Patriot now has to quicken and he quickens nicely. He leads it a length and a half. Mr. GT well clear for second, but Jose Bautista for his second winner of the day aboard Rogue Patriot. Mr. GT second, well clear of ABG Danny third, then came Moon Lover and AP Glory in 106 and 1. Joker Racing continues to heat up as winning owners this week in South Florida. They run 1-3 in today's seventh race with number three Rogue Patriot coming away with the victory, giving Jose Bautista his second winner today. Efren Loza Jr. back in the South Florida winner's circle. Son of two steps also finished up pretty well to beat a big long shot at number four, Mr. GT, who was second out of the seven ABG Danny, who ran third. Time for a timeout. Don't go away. The late daily double is still to come right after this.
crossing the finish line for the last time can mean an uncertain future for many horses. Recognizing the need for a dignified retirement, the racing industry has made racehorse aftercare a top priority. In partnership with Gulfstream Park and the Florida Horsemen's Association, Florida Track provides retraining and adoption services for retired racehorses. Thanks to their efforts, the end of a racing career can signal the beginning of a new career. In show jumping, trail riding, police work, even therapy for children and veterans. However, good intentions do not come without cost. As a nonprofit organization, Florida Track relies on tax deductible donations and volunteers to help pay for feed, training, housing, and veterinary care. To find out how you can help, contact Florida Track today. Your support will go a long way towards a new beginning. Back now for race number eight, the start of the league daily double. Seven furlongs over the sloppy main track. Scratch for two and three. A field of ten signed on. Claimers in for a $6,250 price tag. And the favorite was Red Hot, number 12, dressed in heels. And they're off. From the center, Moonlight Salsa wins the break where Rima Dose has speed. Away in the top flight is Loving Valentina. Also sent along is Longshot King of Jack with the far outside running dressed in heels. She's five wide and part of the early vanguard as they line up for the early lead. Toward the inside, it's Abby Medina and Ramados who lead narrowly. King of Jack, three wide. Racing with them is Loving Valentina and down inside, Wildwood Cotton. Recent Transactions now joins the party. Dressed in Heels is about five or six deep behind a 22 and three opening quarter. Gap of three to Beauty of a Day, who's two in front of Moonlight Salsa. Then Canary Green and JK's Girl at the back of the field as they round the far turn. They've yet to go get Ramados. She rounds the turn with a length and a half to work with. Second belongs to Recent Transactions just narrowly. Loving Valentina's on her outside, and Loving Valentina, Valentina's on the rebid. From the back, New Moonlight Salsa, five wide with Beauty of a Day and JK's Girl. They're starting to close in. Meanwhile, if you back dressed in heels, she's plummeting to the back of the field past the quarter mile pole. Up front, the leader, Loving Valentina, puts away the second horse for Aramidos, has Beauty of a Day and Moonlight Salsa to deal with. Recent transactions boxing on at the rail. There's an eighth of a mile to go now. Beauty of a Day coming after this leader, Loving Valentina. Recent Transactions is at the rail. Recent Transactions for a short lead. Loving Valentina right back at her. Loving Valentina, Recent Transactions. Here's the line, it's gonna be close. Too close to call. There's three horses across the course here. Bob of the Noses and all three of them on different sides of it with Loving Valentina and the tween horses. Recent Transactions on the rail and Beauty of a Day on the outside. What a stretch run in today's eighth race. It was a three-way go, but in the end, the nod went to number four, Recent Transactions, who backs a recent victory with another victory here today. Speaking of another victory, Zanin Misael Jaramillo, who was the winning rider, gets his second winner today. Jose Pynchon trained the daughter of Gone Astray for Tracy Pynchon. Ninth and final race off the turf. Main track at seven furlongs. Claimers in for a price tag of $30,000. Scratch the two, four, five, 10, 11, 12, 13 and 14. The favorites were one, Mr. French, eight entangled, and nine, Terry Strong. And runners away. From the outside, Entangled gets the first call, and Saez will ride him away from there from Fast Eddie E, who's away in second. Here's Daryl Holland on Mr. French down inside, and Mr. French now throttles open to put a neck in front. Fast Eddie E is second, Entangled is third. Son of Greatness is out of there fourth, ahead of Rangers coming, and at the back is Terry's Charm. They race down the back stretch and go to the half mile mark. Up front, Mr. French leads it a length and a half through a 22 and four opening quarter. On the outside, Entangled is second at the inside. Rangers come and moves up to be third. In between horses, Son of Greatness alongside Fast Eddie E. And trailing still is Terry's Charm. Around the far turn they go. There's three furlongs left to journey. And up front, Mr. French leads it a half a length. On the outside and entangles a bit closer second. From the back, Terry's Charm is soon to take third. So the three favorites will settle the score with five sixteenths to go. On the outside, entangled. Now powers to the front for Sebastian Saez. And at the quarter pole, he's the one to beat. On the outside and Terry's Charm, the one with the chance at him. Back to third is Mr. French. He'll tip off the cover for another shot here. After a 45 and four half mile, entangled has one to fight off. There's an eighth of a mile to go. Entangled, two and a half in front. Terry's Charm flat to the boards. He's gaining a bit of ground, but he still has two and a half to make up, and time has run out for that margin to be made up. It will be entangled at two to one. He's an easy winner in the end. Terry's Charm second. Rangers come and re-rallied for third. Mr. French fades to be fourth in 124 flat.
Nice trip here today from Sebastian Saez on Entangled. He moved him at just the right time and kicked clear and with authority inside the final 3 16th for trainer Ralph Nix and owner Gary Davidson. Nine, Terry's Charm moved into second but could make little impression on the winner in deep stretch. Out of the three Rangers coming who re rallied for third, Mr. French had to settle for fourth. Late pick five, $610.15. The Rainbow Six hit multiple times. 20 cent return, $2,281.78. That triggers a Saturday carryover of $24,102.34. And that wraps up today. We'll see you back here tomorrow on Saturday. 12 races plus some stakes action and our first post at 12.45 p.m. Hit the hay. Hit the hay. I've been working all day. Hit the hay. Hit the hay. What do you say? Hit the hay. 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 Well, I'm tired. Let me tell you, Jack, I'm so tired. Oh my, get back, let's hit the hay.